Hey there, it's your host Dan. Today's project, I'm going to demonstrate a seven step method to restore neglected paint back to high brilliance and we're going to achieve professional results. Your paint will shine like never before and you will be amazed when you're all said and done. This is my daily driver. I got it last year. I'm pretty sure this paint has never been cared for. It's probably just had car washes all its life. And this color gray here, it does two things. It hides the dirt really well and it hides a lot of the imperfections in the paint. Using the light as a guide, we can see here where all these scratches are in the finish. All these lighter scratches. There's a deeper scratch here that kind of runs across and you can see we've got a lot more scratches over here. I'm pretty sure the deeper one will come out with some compounding. It doesn't quite catch my fingernail. We can also see there's a lot of bonded contaminants in this paint, evidenced by the little pin dots. And if you rub over the top, you can feel that they're there. But no worries, we're going to be taking care of those too as well. So Outside in the sun, you can see a lot more of the finished scratches that are basically all over the entire vehicle. We'll get those remedied and get those taken care of. This is going to look smooth as glass when we're done. So there's a million and one different ways to wash your vehicle. I like using the two bucket method. This is going to be my soap bucket. This will be my clean wash mitt. This will be my clean bucket with clean water. And that will be a dirty wash mitt for some of the dirtier areas where I don't want to get some of the particles on the clean wash mitt. I'm going to use Super Clean, which is a very, very good cleaner to remove grime and grease. I've got about a gallon of water poured in this bucket. And I'm just going to pour maybe, yeah, I don't know, about a quarter, a third in there. I'm going to make it kind of strong, somewhere around four to five to one. So there's my wash mix. Uh, if you have a pressure washer, one of those foam cannons, you know, it's great to use it. I don't have it. So this is why I do the two bucket wash mitt method. Best time to wash the car is either very early in the morning or late in the evening. Now I've washed this car about two or three weeks ago. It looks relatively clean, but trust me, there's some dirt on it. This is why I use the two bucket method. Look at all that dirt in there. And this is not from the wheels. This is just from the painted surfaces. Next up is iron decontamination. This is a step often missed by many, but it's really helpful. There's a product out there called Iron X, which is specifically designed for this, but it's very expensive. There's a couple other uh, low cost alternatives. You can get these anywhere. One is Meguiar's Ultimate Wheel Cleaner, and this other one is Eagle One. They're black and plastic coat, uh, triple cleaning foam. What these products do is it kind of like fizzes out the metal that's bonded on your paint. I mean, think about it. When you hit the brakes on your car, you know, those little particles can come off. They're superheated. They'll stick to the paint. This creates like a kind of a chemical reaction, tries to loosen those up, get those out of your clear. You'll see it when it turns purple. I'm going to go over to the car and I'm going to spray the car completely down all the painted surfaces. I'm going to start with this because I have a little bit left of it and then I'll finish off with the Meguiar's. Here's an example of uh, some of that metal. See how it turns purple? That's the uh, Eagle One product. Here in the Meguiar's we can see the same thing. This purple reaction happening where the embedded metal in the paint, it's, it's getting kind of oxidized and lifting out of the clear. Now that that's had five minutes to set, I'm going to thoroughly rinse the car off. I'm going to use an absorber, which is like a synthetic chamois, just to do the glass so I don't get any hard water spotting. It just makes a little more effort to get off the paint. There's no water beading on it, 
So I'm just going to let that air dry and we'll move on to the next step. Step three, I'm going to further clean the paint by using a clay bar. This is part of a mother's kit. You can pick these up for about 20 bucks. Comes with the spray detailer and the clay. This piece of clay I've already used before. You can see it's darker in color than new clay. You don't want to reuse this. You want to throw this away and always use new clay. Now up here from the strip wash and the decontamination, it, it did a really good job. I can only feel just a little bit of uh, grit in there. Down here, however, I can feel a lot. So that's where the clay bar is going to come into play. And we're going to go ahead and clay bar all the painted surfaces on the vehicle and get started doing that. The process for clay barring is pretty simple. Just come in and spray the surface with some of the detail spray and just rub the clay in. You will feel the clay become smooth and it'll rub across like an ice rink. And then you'll know you're kind of done in that area. If you feel it dragging, that's where you're going to focus your attention and you're always going to want to make sure the surface is wet. It's as easy as that. I'm going to go over all the painted surfaces with the clay bar and we're going to ensure that all the contaminants are all fully removed. If you start to get a dirty side with the clay, you can just fold it over and knead it and it's fresh and new again. Now once I'm done with clay barring here, once again the clay will feel like it moves smoothly. There's no resistance on it. That's how I know when I'm done. I've tried those clay mitts before and I don't like those. I like using the traditional clay. Um, but when I'm done, I'll kind of just take a rag and just kind of clean up a little bit the uh, detail spray just to kind of knock it down and just wipe up my area. Now I'll move around and I will go do this on all the painted surfaces on the car. Well that took about 45 minutes to go around the car with the clay bar which was pretty easy and that's going to set us up and make it a lot easier for our next step. For compounding while you could get this step done by hand I choose to use my 6 inch DA. This is a Chicago electric model from Harbor Freight. If you do have one of these you want to make sure you replace that backing plate that comes with it and get a quality one. This is going to mate up with these Lake Country backing pads. There's two in the back which are cutting pads. The gray is a heavier cut. This is a polishing pad and also a finishing pad over here. For a compound I'm going to use the Meguiar's M105. First up I'm going to try the orange pad with some of the 105 on some of the heavily scratched areas. I'm going to see how well it does. If it's not cutting enough I'm going to switch to the gray pad. Start off on about speed two. Got some deeper ones in here just as I figured. Um, it's going to take a little more to get those out so I'm going to switch to the gray pad instead. I'm going to start using that. Alright let's try this section with the gray pad. Mush this in so it doesn't fling. Start about two. Then I'm going to go ahead and ramp it up to about six in this area. Well, not quite six, maybe about five, five to six. I 
I spent about two hours going around with the M105 and the DA, and the brilliance is really starting to come back. Of course, we wiped it down with the microfiber. And a good tip is if you have any soft rubber, see the green painter's tape along the top of the trunk lid? I put a piece across protecting that so I don't get the compound or the polish on that because I know it's going to stain it and leave it white and hazy. But this is really starting to look good. Now it's time to move on to the next step. Next up is going to be polishing, and we're going to use the Meguiar's 205 and the white pad for that. And this is what's commonly referred to as like a two-step um, compound polish. A lot of people argue you can get this done in just one step, but I find you always get better results doing it like this, doing a two-step. So I'm going to use the white pad, the 205, and we're going to repeat the same thing. I'm going to get back on the car. I'm going to DA the whole car with the 205, and we're going to get it polished. All right, let's begin polishing. Pretty much the same thing as before. And if you notice on my backing plate, I've got this little stripe on here. That lets me know if I'm spinning when I'm working with the DA, just in case if I happen to be pushing down a little too much. this area nice and primed. Let's get going with polishing. We can use the 205 on the tail lights. It'll make them shine, make them look nice and brilliant. Shining brand new. You can even use something like this to buff the back glass. Compounding and polishing, even on plastic, really works wonders. I've never seen this piece here look this new. It always kind of looked a little dull and faded, and now it's looking really nice. When removing the compound and also the polish with the terry cloth, what I like to do is use the light once again to my advantage. I like to look straight down the side of the panel of the vehicle. And if there's any little spot I might have missed, I can go back and touch it up and buff it out and get all the compound or the polish off. So the polishing step's all done and she's shining really nice. Let's take a look and see how I did on the back deck lid with the compounding and polishing. We'll use the light here and we'll Remember how it used to look where it had that line running through the middle and it was all scratched up? Pretty much got that all out, about 99%. I'm not going to micro geek on every last little scratch and defect or chip in the car. It would just drive me crazy. But I'm pretty happy with the result after using the 205 and now I can move on to the next step. Next up, we'll be applying a paint sealant. I'll be using this product, Just Car Power Lock Plus, namely because I have it. Ceramic coatings are all the rage nowadays. I got this a couple years ago, and I still have quite a bit of it left. Uh, once I use this up, I'll probably switch to a ceramic coating, try one of those out. But I'm going to couple that with the black finishing pad, and I'm going to go around the car very quickly with the Just Car. I want to get it applied and removed off the paintwork in one hour. I've let the power lock set in for about 30 minutes. I even put some on the wheels too because they're clear coated as well. 
And I'm just going to come in with a clean microfiber and I'm just going to buff it all down. Last step, I'm going to add a coat of wax. And I'm just going to do the old tried and true method with an applicator pad. Put it on rather quickly and take it off rather quickly. I don't want this to take any more than an hour. And then I'll be all done with the paintwork. Took me about 20 minutes to go around the whole car and get the wax applied. I'm getting quicker. <laughs> uh, I'm going to let this sit for about another 30 minutes. Let this wax set up and then I'll come back with a clean microfiber and we'll buff it all to completion. While we're waiting for that wax to dry, let's get a couple other things out of the way. Here are the exhaust tips here. Keep these all looking nice and shiny. Beautiful and bright the way they should. I'll come back and buff this in about five minutes. We actually had enough time to set up. And we'll just come in for the final buff. Well, all right, I'm all done. He's looking really nice. It took me about 12 hours to get this whole process done. I split it up into two days and I added a little spritzer to the tires, cleaned up the windows a little bit. I'm going to pull it outside now so we can take a look at it in the sun and see how well I did. Wow, would you look at that shine? That is incredible. That did wonders for the paint on this car. The side of the car is just shining. My headlights here, they look just as good as eight months ago when I restored them back to looking brand new. I have a video on that if you're interested. I'll put a link down in the description. The nice thing is too is that since this is cleaned so thoroughly that when the car gets dirty the dirt is going to have a hard time sticking to it. It will literally fall off. It will make the washes go that much easier. And look at how nice the wheels turned out. Here's where we're really going to see a lot of those finishing scratches have been removed. It's like glass. If I touch this, it's so smooth. All these finishing scratches, they're not all 100% completely gone, but I've got the majority of them out. It looks a million times better than it used to. And you know, for a car that's going on 14 years old, gosh, I'm almost thinking there's a metallic in this paint. I never ever noticed it until now. If you're still with me watching the video, I know this is a lot of products here. It takes a lot of time to get this done, but the results speak for themselves. And think of this as a once in a while, or if you have a car like mine where you, you don't know the history of it and you're pretty sure it's never been cared for, to go through this process will give you the best results. Now, after this is all said and done, I don't have to do this over again and start from step one and go all the way through step seven. 
the next time I go to wash the car, a month or two from now, I'm going to use a different kind of car wash, like this Meguiar's Gold Class. This won't strip the wax off the car like the Super Clean will. And while the car is still wet, I'm going to use some of this ice spray wax and I will spray down the car with the spray wax and I will come in with a drying towel and dry it off. I will have it done in under one hour. By doing all these seven steps, this makes the maintenance wash go much quicker and much easier. The drying towel is really a godsend. If you're still using a typical chamois, I suggest you try one of these out. So that's the tips I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed watching the video, found the tips useful, and as always, thanks for watching.